Hi, food lovers. My name is Adrian and I love food. Thank you for joining me again. Today, we're back in Ipswich, checking out the best Malaysian restaurant. According to TripAdvisor, there is one Malaysian restaurant in Ipswich, and that is Kitchen 66. Established in September 2018, the owners have chosen the specialties from some of the major cities of Southeast Asia through to Sichuan province in China and the back alleys of Hong Kong to bring back your best memory of Malaysian and Chinese flavors. According to their website, in ancient China, the kitchen is the heart and soul of a home and 66 means unlimited. Hence, this is where the name Kitchen 66 originated. Inspired by the authentic Asian cuisine, our chefs have sourced the very best local ingredients to create you a whole new dimension of modern Asian dining with limitless creativity. Some of the specialty dishes include Peking duck crepe, combination laksa noodle soup, high knees chicken with rice, oatmeal king prawns and soft shell crab in Singapore chili sauce. Their classic dishes include char kway teo, ipo chicken rice noodle soup, mee goreng, nazi goreng, nazi lemak and sizzling sambal chicken to name a few. They also serve a variety of rice and noodle dishes, seasoning dishes, vegetarian dishes, desserts, as well as a number of alcoholic drinks, including wine, spirits, and beer, as well as soft drinks and tea. Open six days a week for lunch and dinner, their comprehensive menu is available for dine-in or takeaway. And on that note, let's go order and see just how delicious their food actually is. Hey guys, I just placed my order. Now, as always, until the food comes out, I'll update you on what's been happening. So today is Friday. Uh, we got here just as they opened at 11 o'clock. Um, I was told that lunchtime is the, um, you know, the, the quietest time of the day for them. Now, uh, between the time I, I did my introduction um, and uh, walked into the restaurant, probably another half a dozen or so groups walked in uh, before us. So um, there's already a few people here, so we got um, you know this table in the corner to try and um, you know sort of be um, out, of, out, out of out of everyone's way. Now when we arrived, um, you know Patrick was the one that greeted us. Um, he uh, you know he was um, very uh, welcoming, very accommodating. Uh, they had the music playing, so um, you know I asked him if he could turn that down as I don't want to be flagged for copyright infringements as much as um, you know I, I love the music and it, it sort of sets the tone to the whole dining experience now uh, one of the things I asked Patrick I said um, you know I'm, I'm after your, um, your your traditional Malaysian dishes and what he said was in that case um, that's the only page in the um, in the menu that you want to have a look at now, um, if you guys would have seen my previous video, the best Malaysian uh, restaurant in Logan, Mama Malaya, uh, you would have known, you would have noticed that uh, I love the char kway teo. It's it's one of my most favorite dishes to come out of Asia. Um, so I order that. Goes without saying, um, and that was uh, fifteen dollars eighty. Now, as per. Patrick's recommendation. The other two dishes that I ordered were the sizzling sambal chicken, which is $19.80, and the uh, nazi lemak, which is coconut rice with curry chicken, and that's $15.80. Now, I love Asian food. I, I love all the, the different flavors, you know, the explosion of, of flavors, the flavor combinations that they um, have in the various Asian cuisines. So this is something that um, I'm really looking forward to, um, to eating. All right, guys, I'll see you in a minute when the food comes out. Nasi lemak, yeah, yeah, nasi lemak, okay. Okay, awesome, awesome, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> the smell, guys, as soon as she put that on the table, the smell just, oh. Wow, that, that curry smell, I absolutely love it. Now, we'll just wait for the other two dishes to come out. Char kway teo, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Patrick. Thank you very much. Oh, the smell of the char kway teo, the... <laughs> Uh, guys, you know, as I mentioned, you know, if you've never had char kway teo before, please try char kway teo. 
it's got this orgasmic, smoky smell, smoky flavor. And what I've noticed, it's actually got the wide um, rice noodles, the ones that um, I, I'm, I'm used to, the ones that I've, um, you know, that's how I've eaten the charcoal tail um, in, in every place around Brisbane. We'll just wait for the last dish now. Oh, the sambal chicken. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Poor table side here. Excellent. Wow. <coughs> wow, the smell. Whoa, that smells. Thanks, Patrick. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can smell a, a bit of chilliness to that, but the smell, guys, the smell is unbelievable. I mean, check this out. Wow. Now, I should have asked for chopsticks. I forgot. I was too excited about the food. I forgot about the chopsticks. Doesn't matter. We'll use, we'll use a fork. Now, let's start with the charcoal tail right here. Mmm. Meat cooked to perfection. Mmm. Ah, the chopsticks. Thank you very much. Thank you. There you go, guys. We've just completed the experience now. Chopsticks. Right. Um, as I was saying, the meat. Absolutely butter soft. And what I love about this particular um, meat here is it's got that sort of smoky flavor that the, that the rice noodles do. So, oh, wow. I know I, I, I said in my previous video that that was one of the best um, charcoal tails I've had in Brisbane, but I reckon, I reckon this one might just uh, pip the other one, guys. Mmm. Wow. Now let's check that level of spiciness. Can't really taste any chili. On the menu, it's got one chili here and it says mild. As opposed to other dishes that don't have any chilies next to them, which you would assume it go no chili. Um, I can't taste any chili in this at all. Nope, no chili, but the flavor, the flavor, guys, is, is just unbelievable. Mm. And all the meat is cooked to perfection. Mm. Would have been nice to have had some chili, but brilliant, brilliant, brilliant chocolate tail. Oh, I know I'm meant to be trying the other dishes, but this is so good I can't stop eating it. Oh, mmm. I feel like getting. About 10 of these take away. Oh. Fantastic, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Now, let's try the, uh, the sizzling sambal chicken right here. I should mention I've never had sambal chicken before. So, I'm not sure what to expect. Let's give it a shot. Oh. Oh, wow. I mean, <clears throat> the chicken here is cooked perfectly. How do I describe the sambal sauce? Um, a little bit sweet, salty. <laughs> it, it, it's such a combination of flavors. I, I, I really don't know how 
to describe it to do it justice. Maybe it's definitely a little bit spicy, and and it, you know for me this is a, a good, good balanced spicy flavor. I don't know. It almost tastes like it's got a, maybe a little bit like soy sauce or something. But the flavor, wow. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Salty, spicy, a little bit sweet, a little bit of soy. Fantastic though. Oh, guys, wow. Mmm. Smashing dish. Tons of flavor. Mmm. Now, let's try the Nazi Lamak, the um, curry chicken with the rice. So I see over here, they've got, got an egg with some paste on top. Mmm. Oh, wow. So, the egg has got like a um, crispy sort of a coating on the outside, very soft on the inside, and this particular paste on top, salty, is the predominant flavor, a bit of spiciness, oh wow, <laughs> as I said, these flavors are, are not a, a clear cut, you know, salty or sweet or whatever it's, it's such a a balance of of, of of flavors such a huge combination of flavors um it's almost impossible to describe so we've got some peanuts here oh yeah roasted oh yeah roasted peanuts mm? now this looks like um maybe anchovies Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely uh, definitely got a very fishy, very strong fishy flavor. But they're very crunchy. It's like eating it's like eating chips that have got a very very fishy flavor. Mmm. That crunch is very good though. Right. Now, let's try this curry chicken here. I love curry and I love chicken. Mmm. Wow. I think you need a spoon for the sauce here. Let's try some of the rice. Mmm. Okay, so it is um it is just plain rice. I, I can't taste any any seasoning to the rice? Yeah, no seasoning. But when you eat it combined with the curry, let's get some of the peanuts here. Oh. And it's not just the flavors, guys, but it's the different textures. Oh, wow. I think this is a potato. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let's mix it up a little bit more. Let's get a bit of chicken, a bit of this fishiness, a couple of peanuts, and some sauce with rice right here. Get everything on one spoon. Mm. Wow. It's brilliant beyond words. You know, I mean, flavor is, is, is certainly, you know, one of the most important things uh, as far as I'm concerned. And obviously, you know, how the food's cooked. But when you've got such a, um, a combination of, of textures, 
it sort of elevates the, the dish, which is already sort of up here too. All the way in the stratosphere. Wow. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. Can I pick a favorite? <laughs> no. I'll finish eating the rest of this awesome food and I'll see you guys in a minute with my verdict. Mm. Hey guys, just finished eating. Where do I begin? The flavors were unbelievable. Uh, you know, the balance of flavor, the combination of flavor, pure perfection on a plate. Um, if, if there were, I guess, um, any negatives would be that I, I couldn't taste any chilliness in the chakwe tail. And I know it, it's got one chili next to it um, in the menu, just like the other two dishes have. And the other two dishes, you know, you could taste a hint of chili. And, and, and I guess that's sort of the, the level of, of chilliness that I'm after. Um, as I mentioned a few videos now, I like my chilliness to, to be in a brilliant balance with, with all the other flavors. I don't like any one flavor um, when it overpowers a, a, a dish. So the other two dishes, um, as I said, you know, had that, that, that hint of chili, which I thought was, was, was fantastic. Um, yeah, no such hint in the, um, in the chakwe tail. Now, the, the other thing I've noticed, um, the chakwe tail didn't have any Chinese sausage in it. Um, and, and, you know, I would say pretty much all the, the chakwe tails that I've had um, in, in my life um, have come with with uh, the Chinese sausage. I mean, I, I, I love the flavor of the Chinese sausage. Again, I, I don't know how to describe it to you guys. Again, it's, it's, it's such a, um, you know, it's got such a depth of flavor. So it's, it's just one more component to an already um, brilliant dish that sort of, yeah, gives it that, that extra depth of flavor. You know, make no mistake, um, you know, all three of these dishes were like a solid 11 out of 10. They were all brilliant. Um, and, and, and not only, uh, you know, were the, the, the dishes brilliant, but uh, they were also uh, priced right uh, and they were reasonable size portions. Um, they were definitely, you know, an Adrian size, um, Adrian size portion there. So, you know, to me, uh, this was um, a, a brilliant dining experience. Uh, it's, it's definitely a, a, a restaurant that I uh, would very much love to come back to. And it's definitely a restaurant that I, uh, I, I recommend. Again, to touch on the customer service, you know, Patrick was, um, you know, he was very accommodating with us. He, um, he was very friendly, um, you know, very, uh, very hospitable. So uh, the customer service for me, yeah, was, uh, you know, was a, was a 10 out of 10 nothing to complain about it was great and on that note we're going to wrap it up for today thank you very much for joining me again see you guys next time and remember never trust a skinny food critic